What's going on YouTube? This is Joseph Muscorn 3 and today I'm going to be doing an updated comparison on the different versions that I have of the Ultimate Silly Song Countdown. I have uh, nine different versions. One of them is featured in a compilation, but guess what? I'm not alone. Joining me via Skype is Ian Sweeney, a.k.a. Brandon Field Crown 23. Alright, so, uh, so I think I'll get started now. Let's start off with these three tapes first. These are all word prints. Let's start off with this one first that I got from my church. Made all the casing for it with just some paper, and I copied the casing with my printer. Can you read what it says on the top? Yeah. Yes, Go. I can. Go ahead and read it. And I'd have to agree with that. Here's the side. Here's the back. It says, Sunday morning value, Saturday morning fun. Warning, this tape contains high doses of extreme silliness. Do you know who it's hosted by? It's hosted by none other than the Pirates who don't know anything. Yep, who decided to do something in this episode. Yep. Here's the other side. Here's the top. I'll show you the tape. Here's the tape with an ink label. It's a green tape. It's got a print date and invisible ink. The silly songs on here it includes The Danger Love from King George and the Duck, April 2000. Dance of the Cucumber from Rat Shack and Benny, October 1995. Larry's High Silk Cap from Lyle the Crane Viking, March 2001. The Water Buffalo Song, the former Irish Garb on the Skier, December 1993. The Yodeling Virginarian of the Alps, Feminine of Silliness, November 1998. Song of the Sabu from Josh and the Big Wall, October 1997. His Cheeseburger from Madame Blueberry, July 1998. Love My Lips from Dave and the Giant Pickle, March 1996. The Pirates Who Don't Do Anything from Very Silly Songs, February 1997. And the final one is The Hairbrush Song from Are You My Neighbor, February 1995. Thanks for spoiling it for everybody. Just kidding. I'm just kidding. I know. Here's the uh, here's another copy that I got in the mail from eBay along with ten other tapes. If you want to see that unboxing, I can put the link in the description or just search my channel. It has the same casing, same label, still a print date and invisible ink. And this is the third one that I got from a guy on Craigslist. Again, make sure your parents contact the seller for you. Even though I'm 17, I'm still living with my parents. It has the same casing, same label, still a print date in invisible ink. Next are two copies from Hit Entertainment. Yeah, as I remember, Hit Entertainment at Bot Lyric Studios, didn't they? Yeah, they did. Alright. After Wild the Tiny Viking came out. Mm hmm. But the tape has the same casing, except on the back it says Hit Entertainment. This time with a different ink label, and the green is lighter. The print date is. July 26th, 2001. Got that one from a guy on Craigslist. And this is the second copy. This one I've had for a long time. Same casing. Same label. But the print date is September 4th, 2001. So, so, this copy was printed um, eight days before my sister's birthday. My sister's seventh birthday. Anyway, 
Next is the Warner Brothers copy. It has the same casing as the hit print, but on the back, on the on the sticker right there with the barcode, it says distributed by Warner Home Video. It has the same casing. With the same ink label as on most classics tapes that are from Warner Brothers. And the print date is August 31st, 2002. So this was printed two days after Michael Jackson's 43rd birthday. Next up is this classics tape that I got at a Goodwill in Gainesville, Florida, which is home to the, which is home to the University of Florida Go Gators. Hmm? What? Okay. Alright, Classic VeggieTales Edition. Now over 50 minutes of VeggieTales Fun. New VHS bonus material. It has this... Here's the sign. It's a bit bad right there, but, you know, I can probably fix that. Here's the back. It says the same stuff. Here's the other side. Here's the top. I'll show you the tape. Here's the tape with the same ink label as on the original word prints from 2001. And there's a print date in Invisible Ink. Now, it didn't originally have a lid when I got it. So, I took the lid from another copy. Anyway, next up is my classics DVD that I got at... Barnes and Noble. Here's the side from Sony Wonder. Here's the back. It says the same stuff. Bonus features over two hours of family fun. I'm not going to read those. I'm lazy, like I said before. I'll show you the disc. Here's the disc. Mm-hmm. Game with the chapter list. Now, if I were to get this... Nah, nah, if, it, if it was in a white case, it wouldn't have a chapter list. But luckily, I know how to make one. And lastly is... The Complete Silly Song Collection. This feature is the Ultimate Silly Song Countdown. But it, but End of Silliness was also released in the 2000s from Lyric Studios. Yeah. Anyways, proceed. Right. Here's the side. This is from Sony Wonder also. Here's a here's the back. And has a picture of Larry from The Dance of the Cucumber. From Ratchack and Benny, October 1995. Now, inside, we have a picture of him, of Larry from Song of the Cebu. The Water Buffalo Song. From Where's Cavalier and Obscure, December 1993. And the Hairbrush Song from Party My Neighbor, February 1995. Yep. Now, inside, these are all the chapters for each of the specials. This is Vigil Rama Jukebox. And here's the disc for Ultimate Silly Song Countdown. Yeah, this has this has the same cover art as on most um 2001 um DVD prints. Um, I think one DVD of it was released by Hit Entertainment. Um, but you know, all right. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Special special thanks to my guest, um, Ian Sweeney, a.k.a. Brandon Field Crown 23 Check him out on YouTube. He's got really great videos. Give him a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to his channel. And make sure you subscribe to my channel because coming up, I'll get 
coming up soon, I will be reviewing the Air Powered Soccer Disc from VAT19. Even though I didn't get this at VAT from VAT19.com, it's it's still a VAT19 product. I got it at Alpha Omega Thrift Store. So stay tuned for that review, and I'll see you then. Peace.